hey what is up guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to kitchen tonic welcome back to another tasty recipe on this channel in this video today we're going to be making some nice and tasty steamed cabbage guys some lovely tasting steamed cabbage and i do have a little ingredients here than i would normally use if i'm trying to make a quick recipe or something but i will explain that in a second but for now the ingredients that we're going to be using today for this video are a quarter teaspoon of black pepper a quarter teaspoon of five spice powder some fine leaf thyme this is half of a hot pepper some carrots five cloves of garlic I have over here two small sized onion and depending on the size of your onion that you're using you can go ahead and use just one onion but but the onions I used today was very small so I went ahead and used two of them I have some red and green bell peppers this is half a red bell pepper and half a green bell pepper in my bowl here and the star of the day one medium sized cabbage guys and fair warning the cabbage is gonna look more in quantity pre-cooked than it is after it's finished cooking because the quantity will be reduced through the cooking process and this is the ingredients that we're going to be using today in this video but like i said if you're in a rush and you're trying to whip up something very quick all the ingredients that you see over here starting from the carrots to the black pepper the black pepper to the carrots meaning the black pepper the five spice powder the thyme fine leaf thyme and the carrots guys not the pepper the pepper is i usually always add the pepper to my ingredients but but those four ingredients guys is 100 percent optional if you're in a rush and you don't have any of the ingredients here you can feel free to leave them out and these are the main ingredients over here the cabbage the pepper the onions the garlic and my hot pepper and without further delay we're going to jump over to my fire where i have about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil in my pot already heat, heating up to kick start this recipe all right guys so like i said i already have my oil on the fire and it's sufficiently hot right now i'm gonna go ahead and add my onions into my pot And I do have my heat on about medium to low right now. I don't want my ingredients to start burning just yet. I'm also gonna go ahead and add my garlic in here. I'm gonna go ahead and let my onions and garlic saute for about a minute to release, to release all the flavor from the onions and garlic. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my bell pepper next. And while I have you guys here, I should also mention that we won't be adding any water or any kind of liquid to this recipe because if you know anything about cabbage, cabbage spring a lot of water on its own. So you don't wanna overcrowd your pot with too much water because the cabbage is gonna spring its own water anyway. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead now with my bell peppers. Get that in there as well. about one minute you want to go ahead and add your carrots in here as well as well as as well as your black pepper 
as well as your five spice powder. Alright, so after about a minute and a half to two minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add my hot peppers into my pot here, followed immediately by my cabbage. I'm now going to go ahead and begin placing my cabbage into my pot as well. After you put your cabbage into your pot, you want to go ahead and mix it to get it integrated with the rest of the ingredients that you've already added. Alright guys, so like I said, you do not want to have your heat too high, you want to have your heat just about medium, mid to low guys, closer to the lower side but not exactly low because you still need adequate heat to steam this cabbage. And it is steamed cabbage and not stir fried cabbage, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now, I'm going to place my fine thyme just on the top of my cabbage like this and I'm going to also place my cover on top of my pot and allow my cabbage to steam. And you want to make sure that you're turning your cabbage maybe every two to three minutes because you don't want it to get burned because it can get burned on the bottom if the cabbage has not sprung enough water and depending on how high you have your stove. Alright guys, and I'm placing my fine thyme on the top because I'm not necessarily going to be mixing it into my recipe here. But rather, when it's time for me to start, I'm going to remove the thyme, stir and then place the thyme back on the top of the cabbage and cover it again to continue steaming. So I'm gonna go ahead now and allow my cabbage to steam and I'll check back in when there's some kind of progress to show. All right guys, so it's been about 25 minutes so far that I have my cabbage here steaming away. And of course, as I mentioned, you need to make sure that you have been stirring it. You don't wanna just, wanna just leave it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove my thyme and I'm going to throw it into the garbage because I do not want it mixed in with my cabbage. That's just a personal preference. If you want, you can go ahead and mix it in. I should also mention that the amount of cook time depends on how soft you want your cabbage. If you want your cabbage a little bit on the crunchier side, you can go ahead and feel free to reduce the cook time to suit your preference. But I did put, leave my cabbage a little bit longer so that it can be a little more soft and this is basically finished guys. My version of steamed cabbage. You guys can totally modify this recipe to your preference or to your liking but for now I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to join me another time, another day for another recipe.